It's carnival time again. From the dung and the six to seven, past people set the trend. It's carnival time again. St. Paul's African Caribbean Carnival launches its 2015 program at the Engine Shed in partnership with the Transatlantic Slave Trade Memorial Bristol. Good evening everybody, my name is Nick Sturge, uh, I run Engine Shed uh, for my sins and a very warm welcome to Engine Shed if it's your first time here. Engine Shed is a unique collaboration between uh, Bristol City Council and the University of Bristol to foster innovative uh, new businesses and help grow the local economy as best we can and we try and do that collaboratively innovatively uh, and that means open to ideas and opening our doors to as many uh, people as possible delighted to have you here uh, today and i'm very interested to hear what you've got to say so i think i'm handing over to you um i'd like to welcome you all and thank you for coming out on this very cold night um, the carnival going since 1968, and this year we've decided to go back to basics. But to tell you all about that, I'll hand you over to our director, Cleo Lake. It's carnival time again. Okay, I'd like to thank Engine Shed as well for hosting us here for two months. That's really encouraging, and thanks a lot to Lorraine, who's worked really hard to make a lot of this happen. And one of the organisations who's approached Carnival, which is always refreshing when someone approaches us to collaborate rather than us, rather than vice versa. So thank you for that. I'd also like to thank all of our trustees at St Paul's African and Caribbean Carnival, who give their time, volunteer their time to make everything happen and, and put a lot of effort in to produce things like this as well as the event itself. And of course, our Director of Arts and Culture, Clive Smith, um, who's worked hard to, to pull a lot of this exhibition together, as well as also our partner for this exhibition, TSTM Bristol, um, who we'll be hearing from in just a moment. Has this actually been represented in the UK? Has there been any sort of concrete or substantial recognition of the slave trade in the UK um, to the level where it is almost internationally recognised? TSTM Bristol is a pioneering and forward-thinking architectural installation proposed for Severn Beach. Through sheer scale and presence, the memorial aims to reflect the magnitude and legacy of the slave trade while creating an arena of dialogue, curiosity, reflection and in turn education. We are a charity and we, are, we exist to extend the appreciation of African Caribbean arts and culture. That is our main objective. We do that primarily through an annual carnival, which I'm sure all of you know about, and hopefully all of you attend, have attended. We do run a, an extensive education programme where we send artists into schools to embed the African Caribbean arts and culture within schools, um, which is also a great opportunity for children to express themselves creatively through the arts, as well as learning about the African Caribbean journey, which as we I hope we'd all agree is quite an important aspect of Bristol, Bristol history. Okay, so some things that we've, that we've been up to, we've um, recruited, as I've said earlier, Director of Arts and Culture, and that's really to ensure that the quality of art is at the highest level it can be, and also to curate things such as the masquerade. So um, schools who get involved, last year we had 15 schools who were involved, as well as community groups and visiting troops. This year they will be grouped under house names and our theme is grassroots and that relates to the 1968 festival which is now a carnival. So we will have four houses and each school will be allocated to a house which we will hope to, which with the hope of again being able to see more clearly the theme as well as the understanding of the origins of the carnival. The exhibition will feature film, costume, archives, images and information about the St. Paul's African Caribbean Carnival, now in its 47th year. This exhibition will run throughout February and March in the foyer exhibition space at the Engine Shed. The exhibition is free of charge and is open to the public Monday to Friday, 8.30 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. School tours of the exhibition as well as to Severn Beach will be available on request. It's carnival time again. From the dung and the six to seven past people set the trend. It's carnival time again. From the rush dark, I will set the trend.
Sometimes I migrate and stand still with the young and run away. We rush bringing all the workers, they walk, they send past carnival. Them just got to 